Hey everyone, Benny the Beast here with the second tutorial in this series of creating your own custom beatmaps. What we're going to do today is cover learning the editor and creating a song. So here in the right hand corner you'll see these five icons. One is the red note, two hits your blue note, and I'm hitting these on the keyboard. Three is a mine, and four is a wall, and five is the trash icon to take away notes and what have you. Bombs. Bombs are pretty straightforward. I hate them. You can use them if you want. They ruin combos, and it just makes me mad every time. Hashtag tilted. Then there's walls. Walls are a little bit trickier. I'll get rid of these notes. Walls, you always have to start from the left and go to the right whenever you're creating them. Never use a four wall. Three walls, don't use these either, because peop uh, some people don't have large enough play spaces, and they'll end up running into a wall or hurting themselves. And then two walls are just your fine, normal walls that you can play with. If you want to make ceiling walls, <laughs> ceiling walls. If you want to make ceiling red blocks that make you have to duck, you can just grab that top line and place them in there like that. The other thing you can do with walls is you can extend them. So whenever you click, hold shift, and then mouse scroll wheel however far you want to make your wall. This can be a little bit tricky, but it's fantastic to make exact walls uh, to your discretion. And then you get to notes. Notes are pretty straightforward. WASD lets you move them around. And then whenever you, so you have left, up, you know, they're just the normal WSD. Whenever you combo it, so WA, it gives you that top left, WD, SD, AS and so on. If you want to use a dot note, you'll have to hold shift and scroll your mouse wheel through until you get to the dot note. You can do the same thing with the blue notes, but what I like to do is just use the red notes and when I mouse click it with my third uh, my mouse wheel, when I click that, it'll change the notes. So whenever I'm placing something, I just use the red and I go around and I place them like so. I'm using my mouse wheel to scroll. This takes me through um, through the chart. And I'm using this cursor precision down here. This is a very important uh, part of this uh, tool. Using this cursor decision to decide where to put my notes. So one to one is every whole note. So it's on every beat. You can see the BPM number going down the right hand side. That will give you these whole notes. Whole note down the side. And then if you hit hold control and you scroll, so I scroll down once, that gives me half notes. And so then I can place these and as like so. And then if you do another control, you get quarter notes. And then one more control and you get eight notes. So that is a quick down and dirty for how to place notes. You have this cursor. That is a 12-point grid, 3 by 4 and you can place your notes anywhere, wherever you'd like. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to essentially take you guys through a quick, um, I was going to say recap, but a quick, a quick cap, <laughs> if you will, of uh, how I like to place my notes. So I tend to listen to the song. I listen to the song a lot. I listen to the song a lot, a lot. I listen to the song a lot, and I dance to it, actually, in my own room. And then when I feel comfortable enough with the song, I'll start placing notes. Obviously, I don't want to place a slew of down notes. I was just testing the BPM really quick. But I'm thinking of something like this, and then this, and you may be saying, hey, Benny, this looks like you've mapped this before. Um, yeah, this is the second time I'm recording this tutorial. Just <laughs> learning how tutorials go is very interesting. And I rewatched it, and it was 20 minutes long, and we're going to shorten it. Actually, I don't like that. There was uh, a note of it coming to a close. 
if you listen to this section. Yeah, here we go. This section is coming to a close. You can hear it with the vocals when she says, Come and da 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 to you. And so, what I like to do is I like to end it off by putting in a few more power notes. So that culminated that little uh, bit of a section, and then I start. And then I start fresh. And eventually, I mean, if you map long enough, you can you can get to as fast as I'm doing these things. It would. It just comes out like second nature. You. So this is going into another section. I'm going to amp up the energy a bit. This was nice and slow, one-handers. Um, nothing, nothing really intense about this section. You don't want to overload people in the intro. If it's a quiet intro, or any any part of the song, if it's a quiet part of the song, reduce the notes. If it's a, a medium to a, a stronger, you know, uptick in the song once it gets to the verse, add some more movement, add some more notes. Um, once you hit the chorus, freaking go ham. Just make that thing feel as loud and high energy as possible. Matching the energy is part of what makes people uh, feel like they're dancing to the music because it, it just it, it feels so right to mimic the energy that you feel. So we're still in the intro, so nothing, as you can see, I'm not making anything too, too heavy. Oh, if you notice that, that placement was off. I had gone just, I overshot just a little bit. This note is very heavy. I want to add some energy in there. So I'm doing a double set of notes. And then I'm going to continue that. It's, it's not calling for it, but I'm going to continue. We were to let us, we were... Da, 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 da is what I, want to, what I want to play with. Da, 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 da. Oops. Nope, I was doing it. I wanted to do quarter notes. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba. Nope. Ba, ba, da. Ba, ba.
Ah, there we go. That was feeling better. Maybe I want it here, though. Nope. So what I'm doing now is essentially you get to this point where you have to determine the rhythm that you want to make. Uh, if you played Some Nights, my latest song, you'll notice that I hit some triplets in there. Um, and in here, I kind of want to go with a little funkier rhythm because uh, it's kind of wide open, and I want to add some interesting bits. And I want to—I just want to make it feel strong, and then add in this little bit of crazy idea. Play with the rhythms, um, you know, feel it out. If you feel something that, uh, like if you're, what I do, like I said, I like to dance to the song. If I feel something that's just like calling my name, some sort of rhythm or some part, like maybe listening to the vocals that is just like screaming at me, that's what I'll tend to map towards. So really, uh, let's go back from the start. This is just uh, a quick rough idea of how I like to place notes and what I like to think about. Making sure, you know, there's not, don't ever do this where there's just a bunch of down notes. You want to make the notes flow. You want to make them feel comfortable. So definitely make sure to play test your maps whenever you make them. I can't stress enough. Play test your maps. Anyhow, this is a first look at this map and how I like to create, and I hope this helps guide you uh, to creating your own custom beat maps. Thanks, everybody.